Hello friends, in this video, I will show you how to prepare SD card. So how you can put your latest Raspbian image for your Raspberry Pi onto your SD card, micro SD card, so that you can uh, boot your Raspberry Pi with the latest Raspbian operating system. So first thing what we have to do, we have to put the SD card into the uh, SD card adapter, micro SD card adapter, make sure and uh, just connect it to your laptop. Once you are done with that, then you just have to follow the instruction. So what we have to do first is we have to take the micro SD card. So here is a micro SD card and that will plugged into the uh, SD card adapter. So let me put this. So here is it ready. So let me plug it into the laptop. So here it is. It goes. So now my SD card is connected to my laptop. So let me start formatting SD card. I have connected my SD card and it's um, it's been detected here. You can see it's the II is a drive. Uh, boot i is the drive for me where my sd card is detected so first thing what we have to do when we get the fresh new sd card we have to format the sd card so let me search for the program that i have installed sd card formatter so let me open it so here is the sd card formatter and as i said my uh, sd card detected onto drive e so the first thing what we have to do before we write our Raspbian OS onto SD card. Let's format so that we can make sure that everything is uh, deleted so we can start fresh new um, You know image that we can uh, You know burn onto the SD card. So select the drive. That's where your SD card is uh, Connected to then go to options and uh, I just prefer to do uh, you know full erase Hit on OK and just click on format and it would ask you that do you uh, do not remove drive during formatting that's fine so just hit on OK and uh, you know it just starts uh, getting formatting your SD card so it may take a couple of minutes or something and uh, now it says like memory card format is complete so now your uh, card is uh, formatted so just exit it so if we go back and check whether we have anything on SD card or not. So if you if you go back to you know your SD card now it's 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 a complete empty. Okay, so the next thing now your SD card is formatted. So let's go and uh, you know uh, you know write image of the latest Raspbian onto this SD card. So for that you need another application that is called Win32 Disk Imager. That's I have installed previously so let me open it and then you should have to browse the uh, location where you have installed uh, downloaded and extracted uh, your latest raspbian so here is uh, latest one it's um, it's a 2017 and let me choose the image that i want to write onto the micro sd card and hit on open so now we have the image we have set the path for the image and we have just make sure that you have the right um, you know uh, drive that is selected that's where your micro sd card is and then hit on right and it may take a couple of minutes just hit on yes um, just ask you to make sure that you want to write it so just hit on yes and it might take a couple of minutes uh, this might take a few more minutes because uh, it's a it's a long process to to write it so just wait and just have a coffee in between and uh, you will be ready your sd card would be ready so just 97 uh, percent and uh, maybe in just one or two minutes and it, it would be done I think it's also because my writing speed is a little bit slow today. I don't know why my PC is not responding to me, but that's that's okay. <laughs> I have no issue with that. Okay, so finally it's saying that write is successful. So let me hit OK and I just close the Win32 Disk Imager. And uh, if I go back to, you know, boot, um, you know, drive, it shows like 14.9 MB is free from 62 mb that means we have something here so let me open up the drive where we have uh, you know written so this all file has been written so what i would like to do is i just create one just open up the notepad a normal notepad and you can write anything you want you can write anything you want and just make sure uh, you save this file this notepad file 
save as this notepad file into the location of uh, your SD card. So right now, uh, if you just, uh, you know, select all, then you can see uh, there, there are the files. So uh, make sure that you save this file with the name SSH. Uh, we have to do this because the latest release of Raspberry Pi 3 would not have by default SSH enabled. So to do this, we have to make this, uh, we have to create this file uh, and make sure that it doesn't have any, any extension. And you just have to write in double quotation SSH and just uh, save as this file into the, uh, the location of your uh, micro SD card. And so now it's done. Let me close this and I can show you. It might have been created somewhere here. I don't know why it's not here. Just me look into the this. Uh, you can see here is the SSH file. Okay, so I just have you know browsed into the uh, drive boot. Uh, I is the name of the drive SD card, and now SD card is almost ready. So what I would like to do is just to close everything and just safely remove my SD card so that there would not be any chance to to corrupt the image OS image into the SD card. So let me hit on eject USB. Uh, uh, SD card reader or something like that. So let me hit it. And now it says safe to remove hardware and that's done. So uh, my SD card is almost ready. So what I would have to do next is I have to, uh, you know, take it out from the SD card adapter and put into my Raspberry Pi. Okay, so let me go back to my Raspberry Pi. It's a Raspberry Pi with the SD card which has the Raspbian OS onto that and uh, here I have connected the Raspberry Pi to the laptop to this USB hub and the uh, Ethernet cable is going straight into the internet router using Ethernet cable. So right now you can see in Raspberry Pi there is a red LED which is keep blinking that means your Raspberry Pi is powered up and you can see the green LED is keep blinking so green LED stands for acknowledgement. So you have to make sure all the time that your green signal is keep blinking that means your operating system which you have written into the micro SD card Raspbian is booting inside your uh, inside your Raspberry Pi. So once you have done with this setup, what you need to do is just open up the PuTTY and uh, use the IP address and access the Raspberry Pi. And uh, I have to browse 192.168.1.1 to get the IP address of my, I just have to access the router so that I can get the IP address of uh, you know my Raspberry Pi. So uh, any router that you use, just go for DHCP. And in DHCP, you can see there is a Raspberry Pi and it has 192.168.1.6. So that is the IP address. This is really crazy. So here is the buddy that I have open SSH and let me put the 192.168.1.6 and let me hit open. And it will bring this, uh, you know, warning that potentially breach. You just click yes and it would ask you to log in and uh, by default your login name is a pi and the password is was very uh, once you put that you enter into uh, into the raspberry pi and so uh, that's it you are now into the raspberry pi you can just list out what what is there and you can also you know get into the directory and uh, maybe in the next couple of videos we will see how we can use it okay thank you very much and i hope you will find this video educational entertaining see you in the next video bye bye